Boris Johnson has vowed to resist demands to slash green taxes to ease the cost of living crisis facing households. The Prime Minister insisted his government will do everything we can to help hard-pressed families as he refused to rule out more action ahead of the autumn budget. But he rejected calls from the Net Zero group of Tory MPs skeptical about his climate change targets and other backbenches for levies on energy bills to be dumped in response to the energy price surge. The Green Levy, which adds £153 to the average energy bill, is used to fund renewable energy schemes, a key feature of the government's recently unveiled supply security strategy. However, it has been a source of backbench ire during the escalating energy crisis, with 20 Tory MPs and peers writing to the Prime Minister to scrap green taxes on energy bills earlier this year. Chancellor Rishi Sunak has provided households with an up to £350 annual savings on household energy bills. Through a £9 billion rebate scheme and the scrapping of council tax for households in bans AD. But, he has maintained the green levies, which have continued under successive Tory prime ministers since David Cameron. In remarks likely to enrage his Tory critics, the Prime Minister hit out at prejudice, surrounding his green policies and insisted levies designed to encourage the use of renewable energy could save money. Speaking during his trade visit to India, the Prime Minister said, I want to do everything we can to alleviate the cost of living but actually if you look at what this is very important what I'm saying, there's a lot of prejudice against the green agenda. Actually green technology, green, sustainable electricity can help to reduce bills. Overall if you look at what we have done with renewables it has helped to reduce bills over the last few years and will continue to do so. This country used to be number one for offshore wind, then China overtook us. We need to regain our lead, we need to build them faster and we can do it. The price cap, which spiked 54% this month to an eye-watering £1,971 per year, is likely to rise again in October. Energy specialists Cornwall Insight predict a further 34% increase to £2,599 per year when the cap is updated in the autumn. 